One of the problems that we have in, in schools is there's not a lot of hands-on things for the kids to do. It's a lot of theory. The big difference here is to give students in high school an opportunity to try different things. Let them try enough of it to figure out what they want to do so that in grade 12 they're not throwing a dart at a board. What more hands-on can you get than you know, working with robots and full-scale models? It's more than just the robot. It's about building this community of people who are working together. Everyone's so involved. We all have a part to do with it. I like feeling included with everyone. It's really cool to see how they've sort of come out of their shell. Most of the times in competitions, it's you against somebody else. But first, it seems like we're all in this together, and everybody's you know, helping one another. This event shows the kids they're only successful when they work as a team. There's you know, business skills, there's communication skills, there's PR, public relations, getting it out to, to, to industry and to the school and to the community. There's also the mechanical part of it. The teams that, that make it for a long time understand that it all has to work cohesively. It's important that they learn to respect each other's roles in those things as well, and they do learn that here. With the entrance fee for the competition and the cost of building a robot and the materials you need, those funds are absolutely necessary for ensuring that your team is able to do what they need to do. We have to fundraise all of it ourselves. Also our sponsors provide mentors for our team. Without our sponsors and our partners this wouldn't be possible. Centerline has been a great advocate of the program. We were able to use their resources. They provided us with scrap materials that we could use. They did some machining for us if we needed some specific cuts made. And also, at the very beginning of the season, they really helped us organize and get our team on track. As an employer, we get the part about giving back to the community. But I think there's another side that a lot of companies are missing. We have 18 volunteers here. Those people are going to come to work on Monday on Cloud9. We've been lucky enough to have a few employees that have come through the program and now work for us. It says a lot of things. It says that they believe in the future because we are their future. We're their future employees. We're the future of technology. We're the ones who are going to be building the future for them. So it's, it's huge. They're investing in us so then we can invest in them later. We would not be able to do this without them.